Website Design Tactics for Coaches. Part 2 of 2. Menu of Coaching Services. That is, this is a menu, like a restaurant menu, that lists the coaching services and packages you offer. They could be in one long list where each title of each coaching program is linkable to their specific web page that gives more detail. Or you could just have a page that has maybe two columns. And each column consists of a small featured image about that coaching program, a, a title, and then a description underneath that title and that featured image. So it's kind of exciting. And then you could slip in a small, very thin audio player that might, you know, give a little audio example or uh, explanation about what that coaching program is. Or instead of a featured image, you could have a video. How about having a video that explains the coaching programs? And this is all on, you know, like I call a menu for your coaching services. And it's a web page, you know, my coaching packages, you know, your domain name.com forward slash my coaching packages. Another aspect of your website. Do you have a membership area either for web-based customers or for your coaching clients to log into to access other training materials? Does your website have a press room, a media room, online press kit or media kit and press releases posted on your website for the media to scoop up when they need quick access to such information so they can call you up, ask you questions and interview you? FAQ page, you know, frequently asked questions that details the most frequently asked questions by prospects about your products and coaching services. Don't let them call you and ask you questions before they kind of check out this page. You might even make a note. A lot of websites do this. When people hit the contact us page, there's a statement that says, you know, before you call us, please check our FAQ page and our support page and our knowledge base and our video library and, you know, encourage them to educate themselves before they call you. That way your call with them is a little more, it's a little more juicier, a little more fruitful, a little more productive because they've already got some basics down. They don't have to ask you those questions. They can ask you the more detailed questions like, well, how much, how much would you charge me if I wanted to coach for you for so many months, weeks, years, decades, order buttons throughout your website. If you're selling something, when you make product pages or a sales page, Hey, sprinkle that order button up and down that page. Don't wait for people to have to scroll all the way to the bottom. I mean, if they're ready to buy, they're ready to buy. And if they want to check out the price, they're going to find out what it is anyway. Just make it easy to buy. Because when someone is scrolling back up the page to say, you know, I think I need to reread that section. I want to go look at the benefits one more time. Well, now they're back at the middle of the page. Or maybe they're at the top of the page. And the last thing they want to do is zigzag, boomerang back down to the bottom. Have order buttons throughout your website guarantee or generous refund policy of some kind related to buying your products or services, have that posted on your different pages. They give prospects the confidence to buy from you without hesitation because they say, well, if I don't like it, I can get my money back. And you know, a small percentage of people ask for their money back, a small percentage. And it's part of the business. It's part of the nature of doing business with sales. But Standing behind your, your work and your products means something. So we're talking a 30 day money back guarantee, 60 day money back guarantee, a one year money back guarantee. Don't do a lifetime because you could be like retired and somebody comes up to you and says, Hey, I'd like my money back. And you're like, what, who are you? <laughs> 30 days is great. 60 days is great. 90 days is tops. That's if you're going to go that high, stop at 90, but 90 day money back guarantee, pretty hot. Visible view cart and checkout links typically in the navigation in the top right corner or above the header of your website. So people can quickly check out and pay for their order. Don't make people wonder how do I get back to the shopping cart so I can check out and buy this contact information page with your basic telephone, fax, address, links to FAQ or similar help pages, a photograph of you or a customer service representative, 
and an online contact form. This makes for a great Contact Us page, these components. Make sure they're all there. You might even include links to your social media accounts for a quick and easy reference for somebody that wants to contact you. Legal statements at the bottom of your web page and all your web pages, just links, links to your privacy statement, terms of use, income disclaimers, etc. These pages are legal requirements today to have on every web page, at least links to. You definitely want to have your refund policy, your cancellation policy, any term or condition, policy or procedure that relates to your coaching business, have it on your website because then you can say, it was on my website, you should have seen it. A website statistic counter or analytics to track traffic, visitor analytics, such as keywords, search terms that drove traffic to you, entry and exit pages, track the number of unique and returning visitors, how long were people staying at your website, how long were they on certain pages. This is the kind of information that would be nice to know because if you could check your website and I'm thinking of a client right now who we did this for and they were only getting like about 10 to 20 hits a day. They thought they were doing okay. They thought their marketing was on par for doing well, but then they checked their statistics and they were bleak. So this is a good indicator to say, Hey, how am I doing? How, how long are people staying at my website? That's another great indicator. Yes, it's nice to know that you're getting a lot of visitors to your site. How many uniques, like let's say 20 unique visitors per day. That's 20 individual people coming per day. Well, how long are those people staying at your website? If they're only staying 30 seconds or one minute or two minutes max, why? Remember I told you a hundred articles, a hundred interviews. Remember, if you have a lot of content, people are going to stay there. They're going to check you out. They're going to, you're giving them lots to absorb. It's like a circus. A circus doesn't have one act. They have many acts. They have different acts. And before you know it, people are saying, you know, I'm going to stay around this circus. I'm going to hang out here for a few hours because there's lots to do. Same thing with your website. Your website should be a circus. <laughs> it should be entertaining and it should be educational and insightful and uplifting in accordance with your coaching niche. And lastly, but not, not at all last, but thank you pages for customers to see after they buy from you and those who signed up for your list. Do you have thank you pages set up on these? Thank you pages. You can upsell them to other things. You can remind them of other services. You can give away specials. You can encourage them to, Hey, share this page and this website with someone else. You know, you just signed up for this or that. I thank you. Tell someone about it now. Now, where do you go to learn how to put many of these suggestions into your website? Where else? MyTrainingCenter.com.